Good morning, this is Lorena. Today is going to be a reset day. I have had a lot of problems trying to get up here. I'm not very motivated. I have caught up with all of my clients work. Yeah, thank God for November, for Christmas. Um, and I usually get straggle, scragglers coming in, last minute people, which is fine because I could just get their quilt done in a day or two. That's something that usually tends to happen. So what I wanna do is reset this room. I am having problems because the window over here, and then if I move the camera over here, the lighting over there gets in the way. If I try to film this way, this window gets in the way. Well, I love the windows. I love me the windows. <laughs> um, but it's like the camera has, doesn't love it as much. Also too, it's winter over here, which is cooler. So the AC issue is fixed. And so the reason I moved it here is I thought, well, maybe it, the air wasn't circulating like it should, but it was really the AC needed more Freon. And so I kind of want to move the long arm room again. <clears throat> and this way I can clean everything. I could reorder, resort, because look, I'm literally leaving the room like in a mess. It's like, I don't care anymore. And usually I use this to leave it really clean and beautiful. And now it's just kind of out of order. Hold on, let me let Cookie in. What happened? You haven't been up here in a while. I'm going to be working. I know, it's cold. I haven't been up here in a while. And she may leave in a little bit because I'm going to annoy her for moving everything. Uh, someone made a comment on, do I let my dogs be on my client's quilts? No, but if I'm working on something and I turn around, this little thing wants to take ownership of them. And uh, people know that I have dogs. What are you gonna do? If you want a dogless long arm quilter, you can go find one. <laughs> well, usually we, we get into little fights and trying to get you off people's quilts, right? But it's just a good photo op, you know? Her trying to like own quilts. So uh, don't don't come at my dog, okay? Uh, I love her. Right? Even though, uh, usually I don't let my dogs own quilts. Not my clients anyway, I try not to. Cause I love my clients, but I love my puppy too. Say hi. She's like, no, I wanna talk to you. So no, I try not to let my dogs on my clients' quilts, but I have dogs and sometimes they just do the thing. You know what I mean? So we're gonna start cleaning and reorganizing this room. We're gonna try to move everything around. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, I just moved the long arm this way so that I could get all of this kind of transferred over here. And so I'm trying to make sure that everything's cleaned out now. The issue is I need to get that table out of here, but for now I'll be fine until I figure out. Uh, I'm gonna angle her. The neat thing is if you get the long arm with caster wheels, you could easily do what I'm doing. If not, this thing is so heavy to move. It's insane. You can't move it. So, $100 caster wheels are worth gold. Gold. This is why I do resets like this, because like this, there is lint back here. It's just kind of like, there's just, Lint, it, I mean, and there's stuff that the Roomba can't get into.
I want to organize this really nice. Um, do I love this thing? Yeah, I really do. It uh, is like a really neat prepping station to prepare to transfer one quilt to another. This is where I put my client's quilts. Right now, um, I have a couple of them in bins, but I also put my quilts in here and I put them in line to get worked on. I need to figure out how to, where a, a space to place these. Some of you asked me about long arm quilting and this book is wonderful. Sally Terry. If you don't have a computerized system and you want to learn how to quilt, quilt, that book is wonderful. Organize these by color. So let me move you here. So here's my red petites. My blues, my lights, my yellows, and browns, purples. This is not petite, but it's colorful. And then by brands. I love these shoe things. Yes, a whole lot. You can get up to 32 fat quarters in these things, and they cost like $7. I love them. This thing, yes. Is it functioning the way I wanted it to? Yes, I think I want to get another one, but I'm not sure yet. I think one for now works the way I have my system. And so, but this took forever. I literally went and bought fat quarters for no reason at all. I have three empty ones. I think I'm gonna go buy some more at the container store and I'm gonna set them on the side here like I had them before, but they're empty and I need to cut the boards for them. So when I get my fat quarters up here, I'll just clean them up or organize them. Um, put a picture there. I'm thinking of, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. This at one time was over here. I like it this way. I'm gonna leave it because it's a pain to move. I love these, but they are a pain. Um, that's how the room looks so far. I look cute when I started, but now I'm cute and sweaty. So, I just need to move that table and I'm cleaning as I'm going. So like right now, I just cleaned the floor and I'm finding like batting dust everywhere. I'm not trying to organize the drawers. I'm just kind of reset the room. Um, and then look, you see, sweet little ladybug hanging in my house. I still need to set this up. Set this up. I think I put this picture there. I think it looks okay. I was gonna move it. Um, and it looks real pretty there. I have everything kind of organized over here a bit. And then I organized everything there. I still need to figure out where I'm gonna put those boxes. And of course my mess of batting. So this is the room, even though it looks blue. In this direction, um, I fixed like the curtain rod was crooked. It's probably still crooked. Or no, it's not. <sighs> like things that annoyed me, I'm fixing. For example, one of those bottom drawers that wouldn't shut all the way because something got caught in the back. I'm thinking of putting another one of these over here for the podcast stuff that I have. And the charging and all that stuff. So worried about this area. Um, I have my pot. I literally put this new thing down, and I podcasting has like wires, like crazy. So, like here are the mics. Oops. But the headsets were on the mics. I put them here, 
and I have another one of these. I'm going to put it across here so I can put my cameras that I'm not using. Um, this I use for live streaming. I just have to plug in this wire and plug in that wire and I'm ready. We're ready to podcast because it's not just me podcasting. All my sewing is here. And then everything like ironing board and everything is back here. I don't know if you can see. That's why I love these ironing boards right there. Bottom looks like. And of course I didn't move any of this. But I do need to add fabric to it and go through it. Um, yeah. So there's that for you. I do thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye. <laughs> oh, tired.